Alias 2012 sees the merging of two draft tools into one enhanced and integrated tool. Draft flange will be retired in a future release of the Alias software, which means that the full draft manipulator shown here will be replaced by the simpler multi-surface draft locator, which works better with the standard vector controls. And so the multi-surface draft tool has been enhanced and now incorporates all the previous functions of draft flange. And this integration brings some surprising improvements in interaction. MS Draft has always had box selection, but it was limited to G1 continuous edges. But from the old draft flange tool, we can now choose disjoint and separate edges. And this new combination means that many edges can be selected very quickly giving you a much improved workflow. And I can show you now how this works on this helmet model. If I isolate the surface for the angular vents at the top, I can open the MS Draft tool and just drag a box to select these three edges. I'll start in the Z direction but I can switch to Y or X using the vector options as before. And one of the main advantages of MS Draft over the old Draft Flange tool is that I can switch between the Draft and Normal modes without having to start again. I can adjust the length with the manipulator or in the option window. And I can flip the direction and give it an angle. And now I can continue to add surfaces to my set just by drag selecting them and recalculating. I can even remove surfaces from the set in the same way. So it's really easy to keep the construction history alive for the draft surfaces as I develop the design. And you can see that I can pick and unpick edges until I get the right ones. But there is also a new pick mask option that gives me even better control. This automotive cover is a complex example for selecting edges. And I'll start with the hexagonal inner grille. I can use box select in MS Draft, but as well as selecting the hexagonal edges, I inadvertently get the edges of the surface here and here, which I didn't want. So what I can do is untrim each of these three faces so that now I have a clear distinction between the hexagons which are curves on surface and the trimmed and natural surface edges. And in the control window I now have a new pick mask section that filters out these different edge types and lets me pick just the curves on surface. So now my drag box just picks the hexagons. And here are the drafted surfaces. And over in the control panel you can see that I built 362 surfaces with one selection and previously I would have had to pick them one by one. So all I need to do now is trim back the front faces to complete the inner grille. And if I want to create another draft surface for the outer rim, MS Draft has always had chain select down here in the control options. But if I now pick my edge, nothing happens because of my pick mask settings. So I need to put those back on to select the edge. But these pick mask settings are shelvable. So you might choose to have them already set up for each of the different filters to avoid that happening, or just to make the selection quicker. Finally, I want to have a look at the last aspect of the integration, which is that MS Draft now works on free curves, not just surface edges. And I'll start by comparing a draft built from a trimmed surface edge with one built from a clean curve. The trimmed edge gives quite a heavy surface with a hundred spans. But if I draft from the clean curve, I get a much more controllable 24 spans. 
and you won't always be able to use a curve, but it's nice to have the option when the situation allows. If I now build another draft from these four disjoint curves, back in the control window you can see that the double-sided option has now been incorporated, including the choice of a single surface. There's also a new intersect flange option, which is on by default. So if I have an angle on these sharp edges, it extends, intersects and trims to give a chamfered edge. If I turn intersect off, then I just get the unchanged draft surfaces. And if I change the angle the other way, you can see that the surfaces overlap, so they don't need extending. And the intersect flange option is set as the default, and it gives you a nice chamfered edge, which is mostly what you'll want. If I now have a look at this feature line around the edge of the device, this styling was developed after experimenting with the variable options in MS Draft, which now apply to free curves. With handsets, I'll typically work accurately from the parting line, so being able to work directly on the curves is a real advantage. I'll set up the draft tool and choose Chain Select and Auto Recalc. And I'll have a look at the variable option, starting with the length. If I click on one of the curves, the Chain Select picks them all. If I click again on the edge, I get a second manipulator and I can adjust the length and move its position. And I can add as many as I like. And if I continue to move and adjust the manipulators, it's a really quick way to explore some design alternatives. At any stage I can delete a locator using a shift and a right mouse key. Or I can choose to vary the angle instead of the length. And my surface goes back to a single manipulator. And again I can add a secondary one. And this time I'm adjusting the angle between the two instead of the length. And here, moving the manipulators can create some interesting effects. So here I have five surfaces built from the five separate curves. But if I go to the new surface structure section, I can create, for example, a single collar surface. And this can be useful if I'm doing quick concept work, as it makes it quicker, for example, to create a surface fillet. So the new multi-surface draft tool has an enhanced control window incorporating intersected edges and double-sided surfaces from the old draft flange tool, a reorganized surface structure section, and a completely new pick mask. It keeps its original functions, collar surfaces and variable flanges, and the chain and box selection methods, and then adds all the functionality from the old draft flange tool to make MS Draft the main tool for creating edge details.